Good morning. Max, what do you want to say? Nope, he's a superhero right now. Sweet move, bro. Good morning, guys. We are, what day of the Whole30 are we on? Today is day 17. 17. Today's day 17 of the Whole30, and for breakfast, we're having some sweet potatoes with some bacon and some kale that I cooked in the bacon grease. Does it make it healthier? Yeah, <laughs> sure does. <laughs> um, but um, today is also day one of a salmon trial for Thai. Um, so I'm gonna poach some salmon. I have some water boiling, and basically, it's really hard to cook it any other way because of the oils, and he hasn't tried any oils yet. So we're gonna poach it, basically just boiling salmon, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, here it is, all flaked up. Now let's give it to him. Hey, that's what he said. Oh, he's just really hungry. Brand new food, salmon. This is wild caught salmon, poached. He doesn't know how he feels about it. He's like, are you serious right now? He was vegan until today. He's like, you know, I'm good. Well, there goes that. We're gonna try to see if he'll eat any more. And then uh, it is he's now. He's trying to give it to you. Okay, he's trying to give it back to me. Sorry, bud. It's uh, 10.05, so we'll be checking him and making, just monitoring and doing all the usual stuff. to stop in and um, give a little update on Ty's salmon trial today. So he tried his salmon this morning at about 10 o'clock and um, we it's now four o'clock and we think he did great for the day. Um, he didn't he wasn't a huge fan of it but he's never had any kind of meat. He doesn't eat very much savory food in general because he um, pretty much the only savory foods he eats are white potato and green bean but most of his other safes are fruit. So um, he wasn't like loving it, but he did eat it and um, we have not had a reaction. So I'm calling that success for the day. Um, a couple of friends that we've just been discussing his trials with have had some questions about why we chose salmon as his next trial and not something more simple like chicken or beef. Um, and we have talked it through with the dietitian at the GI's office that we go to at Vanderbilt. We've also talked it through with some other friends of ours who, um, who have kids who have dealt with food sensitivities and food allergies as well. And um, really thought it out and that's the, basically all of the trials that we're doing are for a reason. We're trying to find him the most nutritious foods um, but also looking at the rate that those foods tend to be passes for other FPIs kids so that we can have the highest chance of getting him the most nutrition in his diet. And um, so yeah, the reason why we didn't go with chicken is because the dietitian at Vandy um, recommended not to try chicken so very soon or too soon because he does have a traditional IgE anaphylactic reactive allergy to um, egg and it is to all parts of the egg not just the um, yolk or just the white so because of that um, and egg being basically chicken protein she was concerned that if we tried to feed him chicken um, he would react to chicken have an FPIs or similar reaction to chicken because we already know that his body doesn't tolerate very similar proteins because his body doesn't tolerate egg um, and it's the same situation with um, with beef because he does not tolerate dairy. Um, so we have been advised to, to avoid beef. Um, and then the next one trial that we were thinking about doing was um, 
pork and I was gonna try pork broth but after talking to my friend Kelly about how most commercial pork is raised um, and they're fed all kinds of things and you know they pork pigs will eat pretty much anything so they could be eating things that are um, that cause Ty to have reactions and then um, and that those things are stored in the fats and muscle tissues of your body um, so then Ty would then be ingesting things that he is reactive to. Um, and also pig just isn't really necessarily, or pork just isn't really necessarily the cleanest meat to eat. So we decided to wait on pork, even though we had, we were about to do a pork trial. Um, but after thinking about it a little bit and discussing it with our friend, um, we decided to hold off. Um, so that left us kind of in this limbo where we could go either seafood or grass-fed lamb. Now, grass-fed lamb is a really popular choice in the F-Pies community. Um, a lot of people feed their F-Pies kiddos grass-fed lamb, and a lot of kids eat it with no problems. Um, so, you know, we thought about going that route, but the easiest for us to obtain and cook and that we're the most used to dealing with is salmon. So we decided to go with salmon, and we did do wild-caught salmon. Um, with nothing added. It's not packed in anything. We bought ours frozen from Trader Joe's and I know we can buy it at Costco as well but um, we didn't want to get a huge pack not knowing if it was going to be a safe so we got just enough to do these trials. Um, and yeah so we poached it. Michelle boiled it in some water for about five minutes and um, served it to him and then like she mentioned this morning we may season it with some lemon or garlic um, over the next couple days of the trial just to kind of keep it exciting and keep it something that he's even interested in eating um, eating in the first place um, but yes that is just a short explanation of why we chose salmon as our next trial and why we didn't go with something more common or um, that in our minds would maybe be less reactive because you don't think about people having reactions to chicken and beef because it's not really common when we're talking about traditional allergies but it can be really common when we're talking about f pies and that's because f pies is all about the proteins and the type of proteins and the shape of the proteins and whether or not the, these kids bodies want to reject or accept that protein um, so you know, once a protein is connected to something else, kind of like oats, we avoid oats because he's failing rice, um, or he has failed rice, and we kind of avoid other tree nuts because he failed almond. Um, so we just kind of try to group families of foods together to hopefully get him as close to a pass as possible. So yeah, that's just a quick little explanation of why we chose salmon over other options. It's a sad day. We've gone this long without any kind of tragedy, but look. The first toy that's been destroyed by Valentine. All the stuffing. I picked up two handfuls of stuffing off the floor and had to throw it in the trash so she wouldn't eat it or that Ty wouldn't eat it. It's just... I don't know what to do. It says love on it. Doesn't she know? It's probably the first of many. We just need to be smarter with our toy selection for the dog. Hey, so we are gonna end the vlog and just say good night. This guy is playing with some stuff. What are you playing with? A ball and a stick. Very good toys. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. We're also trying to hit 200 subscribers by February 28th for Rare Disease Day. And F Pies is in that category. So we're trying to up our subscribers in honor of that day. So share our videos, share our YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff with your friends and family. We really do appreciate it um, as you guys come on this journey with us. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!